Steve, your line is now live. Twitchy, thanks for the time today. And this fight with Nate Andrews, it's a very interesting one for him making his Bellator debut, but how interesting of a fight is it for you as a perennial contender in the lightweight division? Well, um, I think Nate's a very solid fighter. Um, I'm very excited to see what he has to bring. Um, it's not a... I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to fight uh, a guy like him. Like, you know, he's been... A, He's going to be his debut in the in Bellator, but um, I thought interesting. I, it's a good, it's good to, to be back after almost a year uh, without competing. So um, I think uh, it's a great opponent. It's a great name to, to come back to the cage. Speaking of that year, it has been a year since you fought and submitted Darren Cruikshank. What were your expectations after that? Did you think that you were going to be in title contention, or do you think you're a couple more wins away? Because like I said already, you've been in contention so many times, and something always seems to go wrong right before you get that shot. Yeah, uh, I, I want to say going wrong, I think that's how it, it is what it is. You know, um, the sport, I like this, I like this, uh, I like this word, timing. Sport, competition, it's all about timing, you know. So it was not wrong. It's uh, like I said, it is what it is. My time, my time is now. The losses that I got, um, it was a good, you know, it was a good learning, learning process. So it made me be here made me stronger, made me smarter, um, and cautious. I'm, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm patient and I know my time is going to come. So I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm ready. Uh, right mentality, more mature physically and mentally. So, um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm on my way to my, to my prime. And I think it's starting right now, 27 years of age. And um, I'm ready to go. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you in your prime on Thursday. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Luis? Hi. You are 11-3 in Bellator, but you don't have not fought already for a title shot. Do you think, uh, with a victory in this fight, do you think you deserve it? Well, um, if you tell me, I will always tell you that I deserve the title shot. But it's not up to me. I got to earn it. You know, I got to earn it, the, the opportunity to fight. I'm not this kind of fighter that asks for for title shot all the time without, you know, you got to earn your, you got to, you know, to fight and have convincing wins to, and, and your, the, the Scott come to you and say, all right, boy, do you, 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 you deserve the title shot. That's what I want. I don't want to, Keep in asking and asking, you know, I want some solid wins before my title shot. Like I said, the sport, it's all about timing. You got to, I have to, I have to make some, some big fights before my, the, the five rounds against the champion. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not here just to, to, to say that I'm here. I, I want to be a solid champion. I want to be a, a double champion. I want to be the best champion in this organization. I dream big. I don't want to be just a champion, a usual champion. So um, I, I have patience. It's all about timing. I'm I'm young. I'm just 27 years old. I'm already 27 years old. People keep saying that I'm young. That's that's good because I'm fighting uh, high-profile athletes, and um, I'm still young. That's uh, you know that's an advantage. Advantage. So. Um, I'm happy with it. My time is, is coming and um, I'm, I'm getting ready for it. With the champion fighting in the featherweight tournament, do you think it's necessary an interim light, lightweight champion? Excuse me one more time. With the, feather, with the champion fighting in the featherweight tournament, do you think the, it's a necessary an interim hmm. the championship? Uh, yeah, I, th I, I think, I think it's a good idea, but, um, like I said, it's not up to me. We got to see 
if it is interesting. I think it is very interesting, you know, because it's been more than two, almost two years without uh, a title, a title defense. Pitbull, the, the last fight was against Chandler. So it's been a long time. It would be nice to have an a, a interim belt. So we could, we could have like a, a pre-title fight, like me against somebody else, or, you know, the two, the two, uh, the two top guys in the, in the division fighting each other to the, to the Patricio Pitbull ladder tournament. So uh, it would be interesting. We cannot sit there and do nothing. We got to compete, you know. So um, we'll see. We'll take one or two more. Rick? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. And you, bro? Hey, good. Um, my question is, after what happens on Thursday night, is there any opponent you want come uh, for your next fight for the next year? Yep. Um former champions like Ben Henderson, Brent Primus. <laughs> I'm not that kind of fighter that just uh, you know, I'm I'm here to ask for my for my next opponent. I know they want to fight me. I know they want this fight too, so I'm here. I'm I'm calling them up. Let's go. It's time to to to, to fight for for what we are looking for. We want the the gold. Let's go. Donna? Hey, mate, how's it going? Good, and you, bro? Not too bad. So, talk to me a little bit about, you just mentioned there that the lightweight um, title picture, of course, uh, it all it all depends really on what Patricio Pitbull does. Do you believe that he's going to win this featherweight tournament? Yeah, I think Pitbull is, uh, is the favorite for, for this tournament. He's been... Is the I think he's the most important fighter of this organization. So um, yeah, he got everything to win this tournament. But you know, um, everything can happen. He got some tough opponents in this tournament, but uh, we'll see. I hope uh, I hope he he don't he don't he don't hurt himself so bad, and he can come back to the lightweight division, and we can have a, a fair fight uh, or whatever. It's going to be his next fight in the lightweight division, but uh, I hope he's doing well. Yeah, I know that it would definitely suit you a bit better if all of his fights went like the last one where he took like no damage and won very quickly. Um, another fighter who you have been in there with in the Bellator cage has now made the move somewhere else, Michael Chandler. How do you reckon he's going to do over in, uh, in the UFC? Well, good to him. Uh, I'm happy. He's going to, uh, you know... I think it's going to be his biggest opportunity to show what he's been looking for. Um, he made a lot of things in, in Bellator, so it was a good, like I said, timing to, to change and going to, to the UFC for it was was good. To, I wish I wish him uh, all the best for Michael Chandler. Hopefully, he 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 got the the, the belt. A year out of the cage for you now. Um, how have you found training during this pandemic? And did you think you would be able to get out before the end of the year? Yeah, yeah, it was it was tough times this year. Um, it was you know, I wasn't like I said. Uh, the, the there was a lot of change in not just in the, in the training camp, but in in my whole life. So I'm just happy to be here, to be fighting, competing. Even cutting weight right now, I'm just happy to be here doing what I love. So um, I'm very grateful for for Bellator and everybody else here, for all the media. Um, I, I just love it. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Goiti, and good luck on Thursday. Thank you.